Hey friends, welcome back to another Emuelic Masterclass. This is Emi Chicken. You may have ordered a HK1 box, but when installing Emuelic or Batacera to a microSD, it just would not boot. With my HK1 box, I hit it with a hammer to try and get the heatsink off. Not gonna do that again. Later versions of the MUB came with a newer firmware, which stopped Emuelic from loading from the microSD slot. Today, we will fix that. Alright guys, let's get cracking. We'll first need to download the HK1 recovery files. Check the video description for the URL, and download this to your system. This has the Amlogic USB burning tool 3, as well as two firmwares for your HK1 box. Open the archive with WinRAR or whatever. We can extract it to a place of our choice. I'm going to only extract these two. This is the 2019 firmware, as well as the Amlogic burning tool. Now run this setup file. It will install Amlogic burning tool to your computer. When the software asks if you want to sign your life away, hit next a few times. Apparently we need this license folder, so left click and right click and go to copy. Go to your local disk, see? Program files. AD6, Amlogic, Burn Tool, and V3. Now you can either push Control and V, or move over to a free space, and right click and paste. Now restart the computer, so hit the Windows button, then restrat. After Windows restrats, reload up the Burn Tool. If you can read Chinese, this is fine. If you cannot read Chinese, we suggest changing to English. Close the tool and load it up once again. Now that our tool is ready, we can insert one end of our USB mail-to-mail -mail cable into our computer. Then pull out our cotton bud and perform circumcision. Now that our cotton bud is with God, we can insert the stick into the mub. Oh yeah. You should be able to find a switch. Listen for the click. Now that you found the C spot, hold it in, then insert USB cable, not here, no, 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 the other one. The USB slot in the center. Not that way. <laughs> hold in the cotton bud until USB burning tool detects it. If Burning Tool 3 does not find your device, we can try the earlier version of the tool. The URL is in the video description down below. For those who have found your box, skip to 4 minutes 30 seconds. Install this like we did Burning Tool 3. So let's try this again. Hold the cotton bud in, click that switch, connect USB cable, and connect success. Click file at the top left, then import image. Find the firmware file we extracted earlier, and click open. This may take up to a minute. With the following options selected, push start. This will take a while, so go make a cup of tea, 
should be ready for when you're back. So in our case here, it took almost five minutes to flash the whole system. Once you're done here, disconnect your USB cable and then push stop. And that's us done. We now have a 2019 version of the HK1 box. This should fix most microSD related issues, loading up MULEC or BADOS error, provided you did not hit it with a hammer. So this is the bare bones Android 9 reinstalled. We'll check in settings. Go down to device preferences, about. We can see fairly clearly that it's 2019 written here. Now we can install MULEC or Badasera to a micro SD and finally have some fun. If you did hit your box with a hammer, you can always install MULEC to the internal storage. The video for that is on our channel. We hope you found this video very interesting and helpful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And finally, a big thanks to all our patrons. You give us the motivation and support we need to create not only the Pandora tool, but it also pushes us to create numerous videos all available on our channel. John would like a quick word. Konnichiwa. Did you miss me? I missed you. Multiple kisses from me, your intergalactic super captain. Come aboard my starship anytime. We can engage in some tomfoolery. Discord links down below. Thanks for that, John. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye!